Hello, I'm Kimberly Pressler with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, October 14th. An injured mountain biker was rescued late Tuesday night after sustaining injuries around the mountains in Castaic. Rescuers were called to the scene when personnel at Pitch's detention center heard someone calling for help around 11 p.m. A helicopter with the Los Angeles Fire Department picked up the biker and airlifted him to the hospital. Santa Clarita City Council approved the environmental documents needed to extend Via Princesa to Golden Valley Road at a meeting Tuesday. The road is set to span about one and a half miles with a total of six lanes, but the $50 million project still needs additional grants and funds. Next, the project will need funding plans and a construction plan with approval by the City Council. We're going to take a quick break, but when we come back, you'll have your entertainment report. And we'll also show you how hundreds of COC students spent their morning. Stay tuned. Are you getting this, honey? Oh, prime time. We are rolling. <laughs> All right, Mama's going to bring it home. Mama's okay. going to bring it home. Yay. Okay. okay. Come on. Watch this guy. Oh, oh it's backwards. Oh. Woo! Don't, oh, okay. It went into Bob and Carol's yard. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Here it goes. Oh, 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 Challenge your kids to be active and eat healthy. All right. Let's see what you can do. Let's go. They might surprise you. Search We Can for more ideas on how you and your kids can get healthy together. Welcome back. A local homeless shelter will not be opening their doors on Thursday, despite pressure from the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. County supervisors issued a request that all emergency homeless shelters be opened by October 15th in an effort to prepare for a potentially harsh winter. Bridges to Homes Executive Director Tim Davis says they will be open before the normal start date in November, but probably not this week due to issues with their agency. The Board of Supervisors recently reached a decision to add more beds to emergency shelters and passed a motion which aims to help in rehousing families and preventing homelessness this winter. College of the Canyons hosted their job and career fair on Wednesday morning and gave hundreds the chance to research and apply for local jobs. Representatives from various fields of work, including law enforcement, health care, and numerous others, were offering career opportunities to attendees at the event. In addition to the companies that had booths at the fair, there was also a virtual job table which allowed career seekers to browse through job listings of employers that were unable to make it to the event. The event was held in the East Gym building of College of the Canyons Valencia campus from 10 a.m. until 2 p.m. Now turning to entertainment, what do you have for us, Stephen? Thanks, Kimberly. Thursday evening is Sports of All Sorts Night in Old Town New Hall as Senses on Main throws its monthly block party on Main Street between Market and Sixth. Now wear your favorite team's jersey to show off your team's spirit. There will be sports games galore plus gourmet food trucks and drinks including adult beverages. Popular Santa Clarita band the Skinny Little Twits will roll out their ultimate tribute to the Legends of Rock show. The fun starts at 7 p.m. and admission is free for all ages. For more info, visit OldTownNewHall.com. On Sunday, it's Kickstands Up at 9 a.m. for the 32nd annual and final love ride from the Harley-Davidson dealership in Glendale, north to Castaic Lake. The event's a benefit for the Wounded Warriors Project and features live performances by the Hitmen and Social Distortion, and they're opening for headliners, the Foo Fighters. The parking lot at Castaic Lake opens at 8 a.m. Sunday and gates open at 10. There will be food trucks and a trade show from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And, and a motorcycle stunt show featuring Queen of Burnout's Julie Moody starting at 11.15. After the foos wind up their set around 4 p.m., there will be a drawing for grand prizes, in including a new Harley. Visit loveride.org for tickets and more info. And on a programming note, don't miss Saturday night's encore edition of SCV TV's House Blend Show, hosted by yours truly. We're featuring a special encore of our Season 5 episode featuring cowboy music trio New West. That's kicking it at 10 p.m. Saturday night right here on SCV TV and streaming everywhere at scvtv.com. And you'll find lots more local entertainment news 24-7 at hometownstation.com, scvnews.com, and my blog, stephenkpeoples.com. That's what's bumping on the SCV Entertainment Beat. Back to you, Kimberly. Thanks, Stephen. The clouds rolled in Wednesday along with the humidity as highs stayed in the 90s. 
There is a chance for thunderstorms with the lows in the 60s tonight. The rest of the week will see temps in the low 80s and overnight lows into 60s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Kimberly Pressler.